where even when he left his palace, they found this glorious scrapbook in your honour. And when you went to see him, uh, you actually write in the book, and I'm going to read this back to you. At the end of the dinner, Gaddafi told me he'd made a videotape of me. Uh-oh, I thought, what's this going to be? It was quite an innocent collection of photos of me with world leaders set to the music of a song called Black Flower in the White House, written for me by a Libyan composer. It was weird, but at least it wasn't raunchy. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, quite extraordinary. Yes, quite extraordinary uh, and weird and a bit creepy. Um, I had actually known that he had this uh, fixation on me. A couple of foreign minister <laughs> friends had told me and uh, also a couple of my staff. And so I was going to Libya. My job was to go there. He had given up his weapons of mass destruction. He had paid reparations to the families of the victims of his terrorist acts. It was my job to go there, uh, do a little bit of diplomatic business and get out. And uh, so uh, that's what I did. But I have to say, I did have that terrible moment when uh, he said that he had the videotape. I, I am just glad that it all came out all right. <laughs> and he never, he never made any kind of move on you then? No, no, <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs>